Hello and welcome to Acrylicos channel. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create this audio reactive visual. So let's listen and see. So let's start from scratch. I already split the screen. I set this screen to the top viewer and I already right click and disable my background tops. Great. Now let's create an alt top. Let's set the render flag to on. And let's start with a basic instancing network. So we're gonna start with a sphere top. Then we're gonna right click and we attach a geometry. Now we're gonna attach a camera and by holding shift, you can set the camera and the light at the same time. I'm gonna move this a little bit here and then we're gonna create a render top. Then we're gonna right click in the render talk and attach a transform in order to create a black background. And we're gonna comp over background and we're gonna connect the transform to the out. Great, now we see a sphere. Now we want to instantiate for every point of the sphere, a box. So in order to do this, we're gonna move this sphere here. We're gonna insert a node between and we're gonna color this red and rename these two positions. Position. Great. Now we're gonna create a box, which is gonna be the object we're gonna instantiate. We're gonna set the scale to 0 0.1 and we're gonna put this scale, uh, the box to the zero. Okay, now the next step is to instantiate with every point of the sphere. So we go into the jail, we go into the instance, instancing on. We drag and drop the position into the translate operator and we say translate x p0, y p1, and z p2. Great. Now, if we go here into the geometry viewer, we can see that the, that the cubes are not oriented to the center. They are all oriented to the camera in a horizontal way. In order to fix this, this is the first trick I wanted to show you. And that's by in the instance two tab, you can drag and drop the same position operator. And for the rotate vector, you can give the normals. So N0, N1, and then N2. And then you have all the boxes um, looking to the center. We have here a little wiring, and that's because one of the rotate vectors is collinear, but no worry, that doesn't matter. Great. Now, the next step is to Create here also a node in between. Yeah, maybe if we later we want to change the input. So I'm gonna rename this to the input. And we're gonna create here, uh, we're gonna go to the sphere. We're gonna set the type to polygon. And we're gonna increase the detail to 30. Maybe even lower. We can play around later with this. And I'm gonna insert here a Boolean operator. And I'm gonna right click on the second input of the Boolean and I'm gonna create a box. Great, now if I increase the size of the box, we, we start seeing this kind of happen, happening and this is kind of the look I'm looking for, but I would like to have um, smaller boxes. So I'm gonna go with 0 0.05 and then I'm gonna increase the sphere frequency. So now we're getting to it's kind of look and you can also always go lower with the box and higher with the frequency. Now the next step is to um, create some kind of uh, distortions on the size and in order to do this we're gonna use uh, tops. So let's create a noise top and first we need to set the resolution to the exact amount of points of the inputs. So we go to the common and the resolution, we say OP, and then we type the number of the operator, which is input. And then we access the attribute called num points. Great. And now uh, we set the resolution to this by one because we only want one row. And then we attach here a node. We rename this to scale. We give it a red color 
and we can also turn this monochrome off great now the scale we're gonna use this in the scale operator so we drag and drop and we say air g and b great and now we can also apply here in between a math operator and this math operator we can change the range to something like 0 0.1 and 1 so we have more control over the shape um, you can also go here higher with the amplitude or lower or with a period you can play around with this and i'm also gonna show you that if you change the pixel format to something higher let's say 16 b uh, 16 bit float you get different results or even you get in the 32 bit float you get also different results and then you can see it better so for example when when you decrease the amplitude increase the amplitude i'm sorry that you see that so for example this kind of values go here and if i go back to 8 bit float then you can see that they don't grow so much that's because the 32 bit float data can hold more values great so let's go back to a 32 bit and we can also play around with the with this with this noise to some visual effect that we like and later on we we can also um animate this with some audio great so the next step is maybe to uh, rotate this geometry so we can go into the geo and in the rotate y we can type apps time dot seconds times 20 and we have here a slow movement of the um, of the sphere and we're gonna later on fix this and this is gonna look um, nicer with the with the audio but for now let's put some color so in order to create a color we create a ramp top and we can use the same expression we use into the noise so we can select this copy this and then use the same expression here and also by one and we can also attach this to a node rename the node to color and give it a color of red great now we can go into the instance there's the second page we can drag and drop the color operator and we can set it to air g and b great now we see some black and some white and that's because the ramp is like that but you can right now change the colors something i don't know dark blue and the white you can change it to some green something like this great now the next step uh, let's also animate the this noise or let's play around with this noise so so we can play around with this maybe reacting to the music or we can find just some kind of if we decrease the amplitude maybe something like this we can also play around with the parameters but the higher the amplitude the more the more distortion we can get so i'm looking something like this kind of effect when the music um, hits and yes you can also uh, play around with these uh, parameters and see what um, what it fits for you. I'm just right now here playing around and see what, what fits. So here, for example, I can see that this looks nice. So this harmonic gain could be some nice value to, to automatize. So let's do it. Great. So I'm going to drop an audio file in. And here it is default touch designer app. Um, in order, if you wanted to listen, we need to uh, set an audio out, audio device out, and we can set it uh, here to our speakers. So now we we're listening to the music, but right now it's not interacting. I'm gonna stop it, and later when we um, when we map it, then we can listen to it. Now um, the next thing is we're gonna go into the palette. We're gonna go under tools, and there is this audio analysis module. I'm just gonna drag and drop it and connect there our audio, audio file in and here we can just connect a null and we have suddenly some separation low mid and high and some kick detection and some other data and let's 
select the no, uh, the low so we go here and then we say the low great and now we we first go to here and then we see which range is the range we want so maybe this is the i mean because this is maybe too much so maybe we want to limit it to maybe this would be the maximum so 1.2 be the maximum and then let the minimum be 0 0.7 okay so what we can do is let's move all of this a little bit to the left and uh, we can create here an null and we want it to be the harmonic gain so i'm gonna harmon gain and what i want to do here i'm also gonna color it with some yellow color because the red is for the instances and now we need to apply here a math and we know that our low is going from 0 to 1 and we want it to go from 0 0.7 to 1.2 and now we can make this harmonic gain be reactive and we can drag into the noise onto the harmonic gain great and now if we listen to the music we see that when the kick hits this gets distorted but um, this may be too quick in the sense that the, there is no smooth transition so in order to smooth the value out we can insert uh, after the math a filter chop and the filter chop can smooth the things out so if we put the filter with two um, or maybe 1.5 or maybe even one so we, we listen to it so maybe this is too low so maybe we can go to 0 0.5 and you just play around with the values so this is this is nice and now of course you can play around with the values i'm just showing you what can be done and you just be creative with this information great now um something that i also would like to do is to uh, create also uh, a little rotation here on, on the on the geometry also reacting to the music so here if, if we if you rotate this we have also you can see also that this is, can be also a nice uh, rotation so what we can do is just copy after the select we can copy the math and copy this tree and rename this to rot sit and now we need to change the range from 0 to 360 because this is the maximum range of rotation and then we can go to the geo then we can make this uh, be reactive and we can drag and drop it here okay so we have again this, this kind of movement we can also go higher with the filter width and we, we start to have this kind of movement and we could also look for other parameters so what i wanted to show you is that you can experiment your network you can just find some parameters that you would like to to tweak and just just play around until maybe like the amplitude could, could be also um, mapped to the to the music and let's do this so for example we need to find the range so the range could be i don't know maybe the least one and the maximum 1.5 great so what we can do is just copy this this tree and of course you could use other values different than the low i'm just showing you what you can do and um, so we said we wanted to go from five one to 1.5 and this is gonna be the amp for amplitude and we can go here and again make this reactive and set into the amplitude great maybe we can go here uh, a little low with the filter or even 0 0.2 so we have also great so let's listen and see great we could also um, create the same of uh, effect 
to maybe the size is the, the last uh, audio reactive mapping I'm going to do. But here, the uniform SK, you can also uh, make it uh, react to the music. So I'm also going to copy paste uh, these four, uh, these three, sorry. And we're going to go into the math. And then we're going to set the minimum range to be 0 0.5 and the maximum range to be 1.2. And here we're going to rename this to scale. And we're going to do to the geo. And in the uniform scale, I'm going to map this. And now, if we listen, it's sort of reacting with the music and creating this kind of effect. We can also go here maybe a little higher with the filter, 0.5 or 0.3 just find the right spot what you what you like but um, the main takeaway of this tutorial is that you can perform boolean operation with both uh, when both are polygons and closed objects that you can give colors to uh, tops in the instances and that you can map audio reactiveness with the audio analysis tool very easily and here, a thing that I also like to do is sometimes I, after the render, I attach an edge and then I attach a composite and then I attach the edge to the composite and I set the operation to screen or sometimes I just play around with this and then I go into the edge and maybe I make a little lower lower until yes and i like sometimes this this kind of white um edges okay so that was that was it for today and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, consider it donated into our paypal account we're gonna leave the link into the description below and yes keep doing touch designer and see you in the next time bye bye